My name is Steve Mills. I'm with uh, the Emergency Management Office, Nova Scotia. I'm the uh, Emergency Management Planning Officer for the Southern Zone of Nova Scotia, which covers an area from Lunenburg County down to and including Yarmouth County. I'm uh, more or less a consultant uh, for municipalities uh, for their local emergency management uh, uh, organizations. For ground search and rescue, uh, we liaise with Red Cross, community services, fire departments, RCMP, municipal police, basically any first and second responder to, uh, to any sort of an emergency. A lot of people ask us, is, uh, when does EMO come in and take over? Well, we never take over. We, uh, we add a layer of support uh, for the municipalities. When it gets beyond their capabilities, that's when they generally will ask us for help. Normally we'll be there anyway if there is an emergency or, or very close. Uh, there are four of us throughout the province so we each have our own territory. In the last couple of years uh, I've been at uh, both of the major forest fires uh, that occurred in, uh, in uh, Lake Echo and in Harry Cove. Uh, also uh, forest fires in Shelburne County, the uh, ice jams in Stellarton, a number of tropical storms and hurricanes throughout the province. We've been there to gain situational awareness and pass that on to the Joint Emergency Operations Center uh, so that uh, they can provide assistance as well to uh, the municipalities and to provide information to government and uh, the Minister for Emergency Management. The biggest thing is to have a plan. Um, have a plan to, uh, of where you're going to go uh, should an emergency take place. Uh, have an emergency kit that uh, that uh, will sustain you uh, for 72 hours is the benchmark. Um, and if you are in your home, uh, to be prepared for 72 hours because that is the time that it takes for emergency responders to get to you.